Oh, it's a bit cold out there. I haven't got a thermometer on my car. But I've got one on the phone. Oh, shut up. I got, I got, here's a good Christmas present. Let me just turn it off. Hang on. Hat with Bluetooth speakers in. Another good Christmas present, a DIC mitt. Sits in your glove box all year. And then today, <coughs> excuse me, the first day that uh, everything frosts up, uh, it comes. Now, which way shall we go? Which way shall we go? If we turn left, we're going to be driving into the sun. And if we turn right, we're going to be driving down the back roads, which are likely to be icy. Stick in it. I think I might wait and turn left. Or I could turn right and then left, couldn't I? That'd be a good idea. Let me just see if I can shift a bit of this. There we are. Another use for a woolly hat. Oh, there's a portion. Yeah, I wouldn't go that way, sunshine. Gonna be a bit slippy unless you live up there. Fortunately, this car's front wheel drive. Let's just let's try and get some visibility here. We're still on extremely cold. On the engine. Went out for a birthday meal last night. Very nice. I recommend the dog in Wingham. Gastro pub. Everything you want from a gastro pub. Actually, it's more. It's more of a sort of a restaurant in a pub. Uh, but uh, very. Uh, Sorry about the noise, all the, I might be able to filter that out in uh, posted, but, uh, but, uh, <clears throat> gonna try and shift some of the water that's on the inside of the windscreen. Yeah, I mean, you know, you've got fairly deep pockets if you're gonna have a nice meal there, by which I mean, you know, that's a cocktail, a main uh, meal and a sticky toffee pudding to finish off. Fortunately, the roads aren't too bad. Well, I don't know why you're beeping. It's a 20 mile an hour zone. At least until it goes up to 50. So really, you should only, you know, they were crawling along and I just pulled out in front of them. I thought that's the whole idea. <coughs> of a 20 mile an hour zone is that it enables traffic to verge onto the main road more easily. Anyway, it's lovely, isn't it? I don't know whether you can see anything. We'll be able to soon. Dinosaur on the left there, Wing and Wildlife Park. Nice little place to visit. Frost, frost, frost. So what can I tell you apart from two excellent Christmas gift ideas? 
I had Thursday afternoon off, so that's why I'm working all day today. Thursday all day. Normally, I had Thursday afternoon off. Unless we can fill it up. And we always have Friday afternoon off, so we sort of wind down early to the end of the week. The um, first patient I've got coming in is the one who whose crown snapped off at the front and uh, and uh, the uh, NHS made him a denture over the top of the root because they didn't want to make a they didn't want to extract the root. Fortunately, I don't know why. Either they're completely prescient and realise that someone else might want to use the root or they just couldn't be asked to extract it. Put some fed posts in there. More apple trees going in there. Apples or pears, whatever. No, it's a lovely day. Got a ferry, a plane back from uh, Thurrock in Essex to uh, Canterbury at some point, and the weather's been really shocking. But we're getting to the point now where it might actually be doable. Believe it or not, this is the entrance we normally come out at onto the dual carriageway. Remember that video where there was an accident here? Let's see if I can shift this. Water now, it's got to go, it's got to go. Let's go slowly because ice. This uh, car hasn't got anything. It hasn't got a, uh, you know, like an electrically heated front windscreen. It hasn't got a. a <laughs> what else hasn't it got? <laughs> it's got intermittent wipers on it, which have to be set manually. It's got uh, it's got an automatic choke, which is, you know, nice, but not essential, you know, it's nice. Um, it's got uh, mirrors, which uh, what the one on the right. Actually, I don't know how the one on the left works. I think it's. I think you have to lean out the window and sort of push it. Or better still, wait until you've got some kind of passenger, you know, then they'll lean out the window and push it. And the one on the right actually has got a knob on it, so that leads me to suspect that the one on the left might be electrical. But I'm blown if I know where the electrical, what's it is. Here comes the sun. Now, if I could see 2023 the windscreen, I'd overtake this car, but I'm not going to. You know, why bother? 30 years ago, I would have done. 40 years ago, I would have done even if I couldn't have seen. Yeah, so the first thing we're doing is getting a, removing a post with our post removal gear. I think it's a proper post, by which I mean it's, I think it's a metal post. We did a recent menogram for a woman the other day. I'd, uh, I'd put a, a crown uh, on her front teeth and she'd had crowns done. She'd banged her teeth when she was younger and then she'd had the crowns remade. And when they remade them, they made them as porcelain jacket crowns or ceramic crowns, it's difficult to tell. Uh, and what they'd done is, because these teeth were root treated and they'd snapped off a gum level, they put a fibre post in. And, you know, I've got to say that I, I'm not 100% happy with fibre posts. I've never really used them. I've never really seen them being used a lot, which leads me to suspect that they're not all there cracked up to me. They were obviously... Uh, <coughs> When you're cementing in a porcelain jacket crown or a ceramic crown, which is all tooth coloured, uh, you know, and you've done away with the metal base, haven't you? You've done away with the metal shell. So that's why they look better from a cosmetic point of view. But then you end up with, um, you end up putting it over a metal post. 
And so, you know, you're thinking, oh, what, what's the point of doing away with all the, the metal shell if I'm going to stick it on a metal post anyway? So there, there was a massive requirement to come up with a white post. And these fibre posts, which are glass fibre, carbon fibre, God knows what, I don't know. Magic gristle, something. And uh, they're supposed to be, you know, good enough. And from a cosmetic point of view, good. Uh, but um, I'm not so sure, you know, that they're up to the job. Anyway, we removed the remnants of this carbon fibre post thing and uh, and uh, did a prepared a post hole more, more in line with a black para post cylindrical. And then we used a titanium uh, temporary, uh, you know, temporary post which comes with para posts and uh, they are they're about 10 pounds each they're not cheap and then we reconditioned the crown drilled the crown out cut the post length cemented it in cemented the crown on top bob's your uncle probably lasts for another 20 years but um we did that free of charge believe it or not i charged the 78 quid which was for his checkup which included bite wings and pa of the upper front teeth and then uh, by the uh, crown, we um, did free of charge, really, because I just wanted to demonstrate to the girls how, how to recondition the crown. Um, plus, uh, you know, she was, uh, she was saying things like, you know, oh, uh, you know, can you, can you, uh, I can't afford a new crown if you could just sort of, you know, you know, all the usual stuff, like, can't you just stick it in one more time? Not, not, she wasn't a patient who'd like, who'd had it stuck in five times and like, okay, you can stick it in the sixth time. No, she was more like, oh, it's been all right for 10 years, and then now it's been all right for five years, and, and I just can't afford a new crown, so it's the only thing you can do with the existing one. And, uh, you know, I don't know, I suppose I'll, I'll have to stick it on my credit card, I just don't, uh, you know, it's what we've done, sort of thing. And, and because it's my wife's birthday, and because I'm a big softy, I said, go ahead, you can have that as a Christmas present. But really, what it did was it cost us a bit of surgery time, which, I mean, let's face it, if her teeth had been a lot worse, then we would have spent writing up a quote anyway, or just chat to her about our brushing or whatever, and, uh, and a £10 post. This is why I don't make any money. But if the Inland Revenue's watching, or my accountant's watching this, this is why my surgery doesn't uh, show any profit. So, talking of which, I've just done my accounts. We use uh, QuickBooks for accounts, which is a good program if you can get your accountant to cooperate with you and work on it. But outside the US, the, the uh, British accountants are, you know, it's such a small market. And, Dentists are like fish in a barrel, you know what I mean? They're like, uh, uh, you know, we, we've we've developed an intro camera and it's got two uses. One is we can package it on a long lead and, and tell people they can stick it down the drains or in a, in a workshop to try and find a nut or a bolt that you've lost inside an engine. Uh, and, or we can put it in a handy, uh, like uh, just a plastic grip and sell it to dentists as an intro camera. And uh, if we sell it to uh, mechanics for finding nuts and bolts, uh, it's going to retail about £69. Uh, but if we sell it to dentists as an intro camel, we could probably do it for £10,000 plus fat. I mean, seriously, this is, this is what a Mickey take. And that coupled with the fact that all the dental suppliers are, are pretty much owned by the same people. So there's not much, um, there's not much choice. And you know, there's a bit of a monopoly in terms of dental suppliers, which the Monopolist Commission is not. I mean, they're, they're more interested in looking at uh, the monopoly that the dental profession's got on pricing, even though the dentistry is, is very disparate. And there are a lot, lots of providers, like including small independent providers like myself, 
and the market, the fee market, operates very efficiently in private dentistry. But the um, we're not pleased with mergers commission. will have a have a fit over that, and yet they won't look into the, the monopoly that, um, uh, like for example, that the NHS has got in state in the provision of state dentistry, or that the uh, uh, that the dental material suppliers have got over the uh, supply of dental materials in the UK. Anyway, I'll be pleased to have a little practice with my post removal kit. I hope it goes all right. Good thing about it is it really is there's not much uh, downside to it. I mean, the bloke's got a denture. I told him I could possibly I could recondition his tooth and put a new crown in it. Uh, if I can, and I think I can, then he'll be highly delighted and over the moon. If I tell him that I can't get the post out and that nobody would reasonably be able to get the post out or that the roots already cracked in half or something and therefore can't be crowned again then what's the worst case scenario he's going to need a denture which he's already got so you know or a bridge which i'll probably credit him with whatever he's paid in advance for the crown against the cost of a bridge Anyway, the point is that we're doing what's right for him clinically. And um, unlike his previous dentists, who I don't know, seem to have a die. I just throw a die. And it's only got, it's, a, it's actually, it's not a die, it's probably more like a coin. And on one side, it's got do a denture, and on the other side, it's got a, a do a, a extraction or a mouth guard. <laughs> do a mouth guard. <laughs> Oh well, the roads weren't too bad, were they? We're supposed to have a big freeze up, so it's possible that uh, they'll be a bit worse a bit later on. That water's only just come off the windscreen, hasn't it? And uh, my feet are still freezing because all the hot air is going on the windscreen. It's not on, is it? Mind you, it's good. Really, uh, that's a sign that um, the, en the engine's working efficiently where the uh, it's not producing too much excess heat. hear that siren? Probably not. That means there's an ambulance around somewhere. It's probably on the other side of the roundabout. There's, um, there's an ambulance station up the road. There it is. These people, honestly, two lads, both eating fish and chips in the car behind me, and then they're doing their best to be dicks, do you know what I mean? To try and push in. Let's see if I can get their number plate. VE660HJ. You know, so I'm being kind and letting this traffic merge in on the roundabout. So I let this one in front of me merge in, and then they were like, you know, they're, they're trying to keep a foot behind it so that they could get in as well, rather than drop in behind me, which they could have done quite easily. I must get a rear-facing camera as well as a front-facing camera, because I think a lot of the dickery goes on behind you, not just in front.
especially when they're sort of eating and driving at the same time. What they're going to do, they're going to do the old one-two at the roundabout, aren't they? They're going to try and overtake all the traffic on the roundabout. I know. I know. There's nothing you can do there. There's nothing you can do to stop people doing it. You can try and discourage people from doing it, just to stop them doing it off the roundabout, but you know, merging in just by taking up both lanes. Then whoever overtakes on the roundabout just doesn't get anywhere with it. This is the other. You remember the other day I showed you the traffic on the right that was competing with the traffic on the left? Where it says adventure over there on the left. Probably can't see. So this is the open lane that everybody looks at and thinks, whoa, I'll have some of that. And of course, it doesn't help that it's signposted straight on. So. There we have. And here they go. Way. What a surprise. And merge. Ah, oh, well. To be honest with you, I think, <clears throat> you know, you've got to let it go. I think there's three phases of life. <coughs> Apart from childhood, and when you're stuck in a residential care, which says there's five phases of life, really. But the three phases of adult life are competition to find a partner and produce children. That's phase one. And then uh, uh, some uh, effort to find resources, to gather resources and and help your children get educated and survive until until uh, until they are old enough to have children of their own. That's phase two. And then uh, phase three, which is protecting and um, trying to ensure that your grandchildren, you know, don't come to any harm and as many of your grandchildren survive as possible. Because by then, you know, according to genetic theory and Dawkins and everything, your children are a bit irrelevant by then because you put, you put giving your genes onto your children, they've given the, your genes onto your grandchildren and so, so your best bet is investing in looking after your grandchildren at that point and helping the, helping the parents help them survive to maturity. So those guys, they're, they're in stage one, aren't they? I doubt very much whether they've got family, they're married, they've got families. They're in the competition, aren't they? They're the phase where the women get all upset because they're looking for a partner and the men get all upset because they're, you know, they're all in competition with each other and fighting outside pubs and driving fast and trying to prove that they've got the cojones to care for a family, the courage to fight. And that's, that's where all this traffic behavior comes from. That's where White Van Man comes from. Because he's in this phase of his life where he's he's just trying to get a competitive advantage. See, now I'm not, and I was in that phase at one point, but I'm not anymore. Do you know what I mean? So, fair enough, let him get on with it. He's got so much more, hasn't he, to do than I have. They've got to find partners. 
which looking at the state of them might be a bit of a challenge they've got to get married have kids put them through school <laughs> take them on holiday get them married They've got all that, so they've still only through halfway through stage one. And I'm just starting stage three. So, good luck to them, I say. Okay, so, a bit of dentistry, but not much. I'll, um, oh, got my lunch here, look. This is Angry's lunch from yesterday, didn't want it, did she? So what do I do? I get, the, I get what she didn't want. Okay, I'll talk to you soon, bye.